Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Plex server. So what this is going to allow you to do is have all of your media, such as music, movies, TV shows, all kinds of stuff like that, organized on your computer. And then you can stream it to a Chromecast, cell phone, or PS4, Xbox, whatever you want to, all from your computer. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is go to Plex.tv and check the description for all the links that I talk about. I'll have a very detailed write-up there. So go to Plex.tv, and then we go to Downloads. In Downloads, we just need to click the Download button, and then make sure that you choose your operating system. I'm on Windows 10, so I'll just go to Download on Windows. Now you just need to save it to your computer. So now that we have it downloaded, we'll go ahead and open it and get it installing. Just go ahead and click Install. All right, now that it's completed, we could just hit launch. So now that Plex is installed, we can simply go down to the icons down here in the bottom right corner. Right click on the Plex Media Server icon and go to Open Plex. It's going to ask you to either sign up or sign in. I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and just sign in. All right, so we're in my account, and as you can see, the library is a little bit lean. I'm going to go ahead and add some media to the library. So if you have media on your computer, the way you add it to the Plex Media Server is just by going over here to Libraries, hitting the plus button, and then selecting which type of library we want to add. So I'm going to go ahead and add TV shows. I have a couple TV shows I want to add. We can choose the name. I'll leave it as TV shows. And now we are going to browse our computer and find that media. So I've located a folder where I have a couple episodes of The Office. I'm going to go ahead and just select that folder and then select Add. This is going to blanket add all of the files that are in all of the subfolders for that folder too. So we'll hit Add and then Add Library. So now what it's doing is analyzing those files and then matching it up with the metadata for those files. So each episode is going to have the episode name. It's going to have the length of it, everything like that. It's really cool. And if for some reason it does not have a match for the file, so it just says season one here, it doesn't say the office, all we have to do is just click the little three dots right here, go to match, and then if I don't see it in this list, I can go to search options and type in the office. We can go ahead and search that. And there we go. All right, so as you can see, it's located that as the office, it's provided a thumbnail of the office. When I click on it, it'll bring up a little description about the show and then the cast, all kinds of cool information just through the metadata. So now I can click on season one. And then as you can see, all the episodes are there with their titles, all that cool information. And I can click play and go ahead and start watching it. So that's how you set up a Plex media server. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.